Schizophrenia is a disabling psychiatric illness associated with disruptions in cognition, emotion, and psychosocial and occupational functioning. Increasing evidence shows that psychosocial interventions for people with schizophrenia as an adjunct to medication or use of psychiatric care can reduce psychotic symptoms and relapse and improve their long-term outcomes. This critical review of the literature was conducted to identify the common approaches to psychosocial intervention for people with schizophrenia, the relative efficacy and treatment outcome of psychosocial intervention we also explore. The importance of person-focused perspective uh, such as patient's quality of life, uh, satisfaction, accessibility, and adherence to treatment and its use in research on psychosocial intervention for schizophrenia were further discussed. This critical review involved the search of major healthcare database such as Embase, Sinal, Medline, and Cycling. Five major categories of psychosocial intervention have been used in the community-based treatment of patients with schizophrenia, with evidence of emphasis on relapse prevention and symptom control. The five categories are collective therapy, psychoeducation programs, family intervention, social skills training programs, and case management or assertive community treatment. However, the comparative effects between these five approaches have not been well studied, thus we are not able to clearly understand the superiority of any of these interventions. In terms of treatment outcomes, a number of controller trials have been conducted on CBT, family intervention and psychoeducation. CBT has indicated moderate effects on positive and negative symptoms and functioning over a 12-month follow-up. Psychoeducation also has shown moderate effect on positive symptoms and relapse prevention. For family intervention, the effects are more prominent on improvement of patient's functioning and relapse weight. Most consistently, these three kinds of interventions have demonstrated significant reduction of relapse over a 12-month follow-up. Despite patients' perspectives in treatment and care have been increasingly concerned, not many studies evaluated the effect of interventions on this perspective. For few related studies being conducted on adherence therapy, the integrated treatment approach on or second-generation antipsychotics, the findings were inconclusive. There is a great need for much more research to identify for the significance of patient-focused perspectives in planning and evaluating strategies in treatment and examine how each approach to treatment can improve the long-term patient-focused outcomes of schizophrenia care. To improve the long-term outcomes of people with schizophrenia, future treatment strategies should focus on risk identification, early intervention, person-focused therapy, partnership with family caregivers, and the integration of evidence-based psychosocial interventions into existing services.